And here we are. We're looking at the hull of the ship. And as you can see, so many holes. That's a lot of holes. I think there's three sizes, a couple sizes of holes here, of the portholes. So I'm gonna have to get that drill and drill every one of these holes out. <laughs> that that seems like it's gonna be very fun. Here goes one size, just to give you an idea of what I'm gonna do one by hand. So I think that's gonna take some time and I'm gonna have to have at it. Wish me luck. So yeah, drilling out every one of these holes by hand, a lot of fun, a lot of work. Does anyone have that motivational speech ready for me? Something to get me through this? Anyone? Taking a break is a must. I mean, your hands get real tired. I mean, when you're drilling hundreds of holes, I mean, <laughs> a break is necessary. Here we are, I got a couple, I think I got about half of it done on one side. And you can see I got that light shine through through the window there. You can kind of get an idea of how it's gonna be once the light is put inside the ship and it's, and it's built. So I got all the holes done finally. I don't think I missed one, but I think I got them all. I think there's like maybe three different sizes. You got the big ones, smaller holes, and the real small holes. And uh, yep, I think I got them all done. All right, put the keel on here, as you can see, those two long strips of the keel of the ship. I just used that uh, Tamiya uh, cement glue, glued them onto the side of the ship there. And there you have it. Ship is ready to be painted. Got everything glued on. Keel right there is glued on. Over here for the propellers. Got those glued on there. And uh, this is ready for painting. And here's that red. I think I put it on pretty good. It looks like it's on there correct. Doesn't look like there's any blemishes or any thickness anywhere. But I think that, uh, I think I have it on there correct. 
It looks real shiny. Uh, I think uh, there's something I need to do to it to not make it as shiny. But uh, as for now, it looks looks pretty good. And here we are, the Matte 154 for the yellow shear line. Mix it up with some thinner, put it in the spray brush, and uh, get, get the coat in that uh, yellow line. Can't forget this Tamiya color white here. That's for any part of the ship that needs to be painted white. I also have a few cans of those for that business. Now you guys know I'm not a pro. So here I am testing the brush as I think you're supposed to do. You test it, spray it, right? So I'm testing, making sure the yellow comes out correctly. And it looks like it's coming out pretty good. So now I begin to spray it on the part of the bow where the yellow shear line will be at. And I'll make sure I coat this real well around the whole ship. And as you see where I painted the yellow shear line, you see that Tamiya tape? I got that two millimeter tape just above, oh, just in there where the yellow shear line needs to be. So when I spray the, the black on, all I have to do is peel that Tamiya tape off and I have the two millimeter yellow shear line. And here's the propellers down at the bottom of the ocean. You see the bronze on the blade and that brownish reddish color on the, on the middle of the blade there. That's how I'm going to do my propellers. Okay, and that's it. Please like and subscribe. And it looks like I got some work to do.